Hey beautiful souls, thank you so much for being here and welcome, my name is Danielle. Today's pick a card topic, we're going to take a look at what would they confess to you if they could. So I will be pulling channeled messages from your person using the tarot. I'm also going to check in and see what the likelihood of them confessing to you is, as well as rolling some astrology dice and pulling initial tiles towards the end of each group for extra confirmation. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, there's a few of them linked towards the top of my description box. You could also visit my website. I do offer urgent readings if you would like yours sooner. Also, if you are interested in purchasing one of these beautiful bracelets as well as so many more on um, Otter Spirits websites. The link to my partnership with Otter Spirits is linked, um, yeah, linked at the top of the description box. Uh, you can also get 20% off your order using my discount code. All right, so let's dive in. Group one, you have the uh, Tarot de la Nuit with this beautiful um, painted heart. It's turquoise, gold, purple, black. Very beautiful. Uh, group two, you have the Light Sears Tarot with this beautiful, um, it's called like the, the Quattro Point or Phoenix Point. And group three, you have the um, Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot with this beautiful Druzy Moon here. I believe it's Druzy. Anyways, it's pretty. <laughs> so timestamps are listed in the middle of the description box as well as pinned in the comment section. And I will see you lovelies at your reading. Hey, group one, you chose the Tarot de la Nuit. Welcome. All right, I'm going to place your, you know what? Let's place it over by the candle. Little pumpkin skeleton candle thingy. So what would they like to confess you? Remember, take what resonates and get rid of anything that doesn't. You know the drill. Okay, so what would group one's person confessed if they could? We have the six of wands. The Hanged Man, Pisces, The Devil, Capricorn, Eight of Wands, all right, oh, I hear children below us, okay. Your person here would confess to you, would communicate that they are stuck. Uh, they are holding back because they are scared. They, they do, well, one, they do recognize they're scared. I want to clarify the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? King of Wands. All right, so yeah, they do know that they need to step up and make a move towards you. They feel like the ball is in their court, but they would confess to you that they are scared um, shitless here, <laughs> to put it bluntly. So that is why they're holding back. They're just holding back, observing for the time being, because they are terrified. With a page of swords, what would they confess? Two of cups and the seven of wands. All right, they would confess to you that they've been keeping tabs on you, they've been watching you.
But yeah, they, <laughs> they would never admit it. Uh, they would play it off. They would confess to you that they feel tied to you, that they see you, um, they see potential here for you to be the one. They view you as soulmate. I'm really getting that this person like is physically drawn to you as well. Like they think you're hot stuff. Yeah, really feeling tied to you. And they know that they need to make a move. But again, they're scared. Yet they see you as the one. So this, I'm getting for some of you, this could even be a secret admirer. If you're not even knowing who this person is, maybe you're just here um, for fun. Um, yeah, you may have a secret admirer here because I feel like this person is watching you. If you're like, well, haha, I have them blocked. They're finding ways around that. Yeah, definitely secretly watching you. They want to make a move towards you. And they would try and play it off like, you know, as if they're cool here. Pretending like they're not watching you. We have the King of Pentacles. What would they confess? We have the Empress. Ace of Swords. And the King of Cups. Okay, let me sit with this for a sec. I'm getting competition. Now, I don't know if this person feels like they need to compete. Maybe some of you already have some somebody on your mind or they're worried they may be suspected. And again, if they are, you know, watching you, keeping tabs, I feel like this person is, you know, checking out your photos, seeing like who you're talking to. A little bit insecure and jealous energy. Again, devil coming through here. Um, but yeah, the truth is that this person, I feel like they're secretly in love with you. Like, they have this whole relationship going on with you in their mind, in their imagination. And they know what they want with you. I want to clarify Ace of Swords. What's the Ace of Swords here? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they see you as the one. They see you as perfect for them. They're like what they like what they're seeing. All right, so let's see what else we have here. Well, group one, I feel like your reading is pretty straightforward so far. So far. <laughs> All right, we have coffee cup meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted and friendship we also have mirror so mirroring each other self-image relationships reflect our wounds and introspection all right so they may see you as like a divine compliment uh they feel that you mirror them or you uh they mirror you they they absolutely want to ask you out. I'm also seeing friendship here. So this could be a friend. And they're secretly pining for you. They haven't confessed their feelings yet. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you've only been on a couple like coffee dates or little dates. I feel like they want to. Um, they've enjoyed those and they want to take it to the next level. Okay, what else? What would they confess to my group ones? manifest tell the universe exactly what you want 
Okay, so this person um, may be into manifestation. Maybe they're into spell work. Maybe they believe in spell work. I feel like this person's like wishing upon a star. Um, you know, trying to do whatever to manifest you. To get you. We have guardian. A lost loved one watches over you. All right, so I feel like they believe in guardian angels and spirit guides. Maybe you don't know that about this person, um, that they they do, they may secretly believe in, you know, magic, even though manifestation isn't actually magic. Uh, but maybe they see it that way. Maybe they consider it magic. Or maybe they've always been told it's woo-woo. And always felt like silly for even believing in spirit guides and guardian angels, maybe even tarot, like all that mystical stuff, which really isn't all that mystical <laughs> when you're used to it. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's like this whole other side to them that you maybe don't aren't even aware of here. And I feel like they would like to show you that side of them as well but they're a little bit scared that maybe you might judge them harshly or you might laugh at them or ridicule them think they're silly so yeah that's what we have for that so far let's dive into our messages see what they would like to say to you all right so i'm gonna quickly pause i will be right back with your message cards Okay, so let's see what, oh, geez, <laughs> throw these off. Okay, so a confession may be coming within a few weeks, or maybe you're planning something, maybe a, another coffee date with them in a few weeks. I'm ready for something deep and meaningful. Uh, we have angel number 777, so that could be someone's, uh, maybe even their favorite number. I'm seeing you in a new light. If you're hearing a weird noise, it's just my daughter opening the garage door. Um, you were on my mind all day. I regret not taking a chance. So they do have previous regrets of not, uh, maybe not asking you out sooner. Yeah, you're the one that got away. For some of you, you are the one that got away. For those of you that aren't already dating this person, and they only have themselves to blame here. So they realize that they messed up. I hate the distance between this between us. This could be emotional distance. It could also speak of actual literal physical distance. We've shared many past lives together. Yeah, this person's like they believe in this stuff. Even if they're like that could be again part of the confession. Like maybe they're secret. Um they don't talk about it very often that they believe in, you know maybe past lives um well there's <laughs> so many theories out there right so they could be diving into all that you bring up my softer side maybe they're also into like conspiracy theories it could be anything uh we have 222 two, two. another angel number we have gray eyes so someone has gray eyes i'm ready to take the next step all right, so they're building up to doing something here, taking a, making a move. I think I'm falling in love. I know we have a deep connection. All right, so yeah, this person feels like energetically and spiritually tied to you. Um, I feel like they've already fallen in love. If they're not already in love, for some of you, this person is falling in love or they see themselves completely falling in love with you, falling head over heels. I feel like they may not have even admitted it to themselves yet. So yeah, everything is definitely unfolding. Now let's see. Some of you could be going from like casually dating to um, entering into a serious commitment. It could be moving from situationship or friends with benefits to um, commitment. All right, so I 
Will they confess to, will they confess in the near future to my group ones? Will this, will they confess? Temperance. This says yes. Patience. I see this as, okay, so with temperance here, you know, she's patient. Um, very in in the moment and I feel here with the first card that we we flipped over is you know within a few weeks I take this as okay you know what um especially those of you that maybe stress or like put a lot of importance um on timing I recommend you know just centering yourself balancing you know living the moment living in the moment being present with yourself, just, you know, just go about your day, live life and trust and know that eventually, you know, you will get a confession. Um, but if you're constantly, you know, if you're putting timing as an importance, you may just drive yourself crazy. So again, I wouldn't wait around so much. You know, when are they going to confess? When are they going to confess? Just go live your life. Especially those of you um, into manifestation. Remember, it's not, it's not about focusing on the timing. Allow it to unfold naturally. But yes, this, say, yeah, this says yes, a confession will be coming. Um, just be patient. You know, it's... I feel like with temperance here, even though it is Sagittarius, <laughs> it's, you know, a fire sign, I do see this as very, like, chill, <laughs> relaxed, uh, very peaceful energy. Um, just be patient. And if you're, <laughs> if you're the type of person that's not really patient, well, um... Sorry to disappoint you, I guess. I don't know. I know what it's like to be impatient, so. Yeah, hearing just be patient is probably not what you want to hear, but confession's coming. Okay. So we have Aquarius. We have 12th House Pisces. We have 7th house Libra and we have Gemini. Oh, what did I just... Oh, I think I just dropped a cord under my desk. Alright. We have you. D, I, or E, geez, <laughs> we have I, A, someone's name could be Ida, maybe someone lives in Idaho, now I'm thinking of potatoes, we have R, W, D, Seeing dad, someone may be close with their dad. With T. I. Another E. N. Could have Wanda. I'm saying the word draw, so someone's into art, drawing, painting. With M. We have Wanda, we have O, and I. Moira. See the word diet, so there maybe someone's um, making a lifestyle change. This could also talk about mental diet, you know, like shifting from um, maybe someone being pessimistic always expecting the worst to shifting their mental diet um to you know expecting the best 
Um, also, mental diet has to do with self-concept how you speak about yourself how you see yourself as well so if they've had um maybe a, a negative outlook about themselves they may be shifting into a more um loving energy and, and seeing themselves as perfect seeing themselves as you know beautiful worthy so that could be something going on we also have rita um, I was here, Warren. Do we have, well, yeah, I guess we could have Warren there. All right. I think I'm going to leave it there. Oh, I'm seeing Tom and Tim as well. Okay. So that is what I have for you, group one. Thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you guys all the best and I'm sending you so much love. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group two, you chose the Lightseer's Tarot with this Phoenix Quattro Point thing. <laughs> all right, welcome. Okay, so what would group two's person, what would your person confess if they could? Three of swords, ace of swords, page of cups, the worlds, okay. Hmm. Okay, well, obviously, clearly, the first card we pull here, the Three of Swords, this person is obviously uh, heartbroken um, in a lot of pain right now. I feel like for some of you, there may be, uh, this could be a long distance relationship, distance between the two of you. They have realized something. And I feel like this is not, you know, um, necessarily an indication of clarity and confession for you. I feel like they have realized something, uh, something about their pain, something that maybe brought on some heartache, some pain here. None of wands. Okay, so their pain hasn't stopped them. They're still determined. I feel like they haven't quite, um, they don't quite have everything figured out, but they're not, they're not quitting here. I want to clarify three of swords. Why is the three of swords here? Oh, not, well, it is reverse, although I'm not doing reversals. Okay, so they're not happy. They're not feeling fulfilled, clearly. I feel like they've received uh, some sort of news response to um, their their goals, their happiness, their wish fulfillment uh, when it comes to you in this connection. And yeah, they're in a lot of pain here. Why is the world here? The lovers. You mean the world to this person. Feel like it doesn't matter the physical distance between the two of you they feel it anyways they feel you they feel this anyways with gemini with the lovers we have um capricorn with the worlds okay one half they were what are they confessing what would they confess if they could that you mean the world to them they're in pain some of you they walked away they walked away from the one thing they wanted most here, which is you. We have a lot of water energy coming through as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles. 
Ten of Wands. They didn't feel good enough for you. They felt like you deserve more. Wow, look at this energy. This person's just devastated. They may have made you believe that, you know, they were on to better and brighter things. Um, you know, grass is greener on the other side. That's not the case. This person, if you thought that they left and they were happy, like you're wondering, you know, are they happier without me? The answer is no. Like this person, like, look at them. Wow. They're in despair here. They haven't given up on you. Like, they haven't given up on their feelings. And I feel like that's also part of the clarity here is it could be through if this person up and left, if they walked away or if they, like, physically moved away. Um, the hidden blessing here. <laughs> and I know, you know, if you're experiencing a lot of pain in that situation i understand why you wouldn't want why you wouldn't consider it a blessing but i feel here the hidden blessing is that this person is really gaining some awareness of what you mean to them so um this could be everything like in a roundabout way working out in your favor and i know those of you that are into conscious manifestation those of you <laughs> you know what i'm talking about <laughs> So you probably also, you know, hey, this is this is a blessing in disguise. All right, what else would they confess? What would they like to confess? Seven of Cups. Wow, look at all this emotion. The feelings. Okay, we have strength with Leo. Devil. Okay, so um, we have Capricorn as well. I feel like they're trying to put on a brave face. Um, they may have you believing that they're not phased, like they're cool, they're calm. Maybe they, they may like even... Maybe they are the type of person that's, you know, very, looks very chill, very relaxed in the state of like panic and anxiety. You may not even know that they're stressed, um, but yeah, they are. They get in their head a lot about you and this connection. Hanged man. We have Pisces again. Do we have, did we even have, I'm sure one of these cards represent Pisces, one of the cups. I know we have like strong Scorpio energy coming through as well uh, in the cups. Okay, so yeah, they've had uh, a rude awakening through all of this experience here. Yeah, there's a lot that they want to confess to you. Like your person wants to come back around and there's something there's some oh i'm getting choked up all of a sudden my uh throat just kind of closed up there so there there's a lot that they need to say to you oh need to take a drink wow yeah there's a lot that they haven't said to you that they're holding on to and i feel like it's just causing even more grief they really need to get this off their chest, whatever it is. Okay, so let's see what else. What would they confess to my group twos? I like you. I don't think I've ever pulled this card. Oh, that's cute. This kind of reminds me of, you know, passing notes in elementary school, you know, like, I like you, do you like me? And, you know, check box yes or box no. <laughs> Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun flirting, want to date. Okay, so now I'm hearing uh, Carly Rae Jepsen in my head with I really like you. So, oh, this is cute. I'm picking up on that it's more intense than that. 
Um, they may be realizing, maybe they thought that they just, you know, had a, an interest in you, like maybe a little crush. And now it's coming to the realization that it's actually more than just like, oh, I like you. Oh, I want to date you. They may have been flirting with you in the past, and I feel like it's it's gone beyond that. Hand of cards. Okay, so we have take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. Right, yeah, so they're not showing everything here. They're, And I was going to say I was picking up on this person has a good poker face. Um, may even get like, kind of like Mars and Scorpio energy. feel like they may take a risk and just uh, come out and tell you how they feel about you. <clears throat> Again, like my throat, it feels like blocked and, you know, like I have a tickle all of a sudden. So they have a blocked uh, throat chakra. There's a lot that they need to say, a lot they need to express. We have move on. Someone is unavailable, a waste of time, it's over. So... I feel like that's the fears coming in. Fears that, you know, it may be over. Maybe you've met somebody else. Maybe you are with somebody else. So they're, you know, seeing that as, okay, you're unavailable. Um, but you never know, right? We live in a different time where there's a lot of, you know, it, it's, it's more accepted uh, open relationships and, you know, um, not just open relationships, but, you know, multiple, having multiple partners, um, obviously <laughs> in a consensual way um, between all parties where everybody knows about the other person. I'm, I'm assuming that's the case. Um, you know, it's being more accepted in society. So this person may even come in even if you're with somebody else like wanting to know the dynamics of the relationship like is it serious are you, are you like openly dating other people um is it a closed relationship is it just the two of you like what's going on there they might want to see if there's a possibility or you know are you just are you just killing time you know just getting certain needs met <laughs> Okay, what else? We have moving. Yeah, we have a lot of moving here. So I feel like somebody moved. Okay, change of residence, moving in with your partner. Okay, so... Yeah, I feel like there's a couple dynamics here. Again, if you're seeing someone, they want to know, is it serious? Are you moving in with them? Uh, what What's what's the status of your relationship what's the status of you like are you seeing that person that you posted on your so social media if they're watching your social media or if you're connected um i also see like the ten of wands here with all this baggage one going back this person may have felt like not good enough to you like you they may have seen you as the queen of pentacles or king of pentacles um and they're seeing themselves as ten of one, like they got, they have a lot of baggage, and maybe they it, they see themselves as too much. I'm also getting this person, maybe the type of person that's constantly moving, you know, constantly looking for. Okay, I'll be I'll be happy in the next place. I'll be happy over here. I'll be happy over here. And then realizing when they get to the next place, they're only happy for you know maybe a few months, and then they realize, oh, here come the shitty you know, feelings again, because I never addressed them. Um, they may have thought even, you know, moving away from you or leaving for whatever the reason is that they would be happy. Like I said, you know, grass is greener on the, on the other side. They may have uh, made you believe that, but the case is that they were fooling themselves. They're still not happy. Um, they may also be realizing that happiness comes from within. It's not always external. So 
they're going through a lot right now. There's there's a lot going on with your person. A lot of uh, realizations happening. And I see like, I really see this as much as it's heavy for this person. I do see this as a beautiful opportunity for them to grow and evolve if they choose to. Or they will just repeat the same cycles. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's dive into your messages. All right, so I'm going to pause this, uh, shuffle out the message cards. I will be right back. All right, let's see what we have. I keep seeing your name everywhere. Yeah, like this person, they can't get away from you. <laughs> it doesn't matter where they move in the world. Yeah, you're still there. It's always been you. And again, they may be coming to this realization like, hey, I thought I would be happy, like, here in Timbuktu, but realizing that, actually, no, I'm not. Time has brought your heart to me. Six months from now, so um, big changes could be happening in the new year. 2025 may be very significant for this connection. May also be, like, something happening uh, someone, maybe you guys, like maybe you are planning a move in, from six months from now. Now I want to go back to say, okay, it's not that, you know, m moving means that, <laughs> I want to clarify, um, you know, just because you move doesn't mean that you have a negative self-concept. It's just like, if you're if you're constantly moving um, because you're always looking for some, it's, you know, you're, you're never happy in the one spot, like always looking, always looking for the next best thing. You, you know, I'll be happy in this next relationship. I'll be happy in this next job. Or if you've, you've noticed people in your life have those patterns, um, like, I'll be happy in my next house. I'll be, I'll be happy if I move to the other side of the country. I'll be, you know, oh, no, I'm not happy. I got to move back. Nope, I'm still not happy. I got to move here. Like, someone who's always, like, they're never happy and they're always, like, moving and changing, you know, thinking that they'll be happy, again, outside of themselves, that's, you know, there's something going on within that they haven't addressed, basically. So, so it's not necessarily that, you know, just because people move doesn't mean they're not happy. I mean, you can be completely happy with your home and, you know, still choose to leave and, you know, love the house you're in. But maybe you're just doing an upgrade. Um, again, it, it depends on mindset, right? So just <laughs> just wanted to clarify that. Just in case ever anyone, <laughs> one of you are like, I'm, mo I'm moving and <laughs> yeah. I'm talking like the energy coming through this reading. Okay, so yeah, you mean the world to them. Just what I was picking up on earlier there. I want to start as friends and go from there. So they may want to take it slow with you. Ooh, we have angel number 555, big changes happening, very uncomfortable changes. Um, and I say uncomfortable, typically, like, the, the 555 has a reputation of very unexpected, sometimes uncomfortable changes. I feel like your person here is uncomfortable, um, but they're evolving. Or again, they have, the, they have the chance to, they have a choice to. I hate not being with you. Do you have somebody else on your mind? I feel like I've known you for lifetimes. Energetic cords. They still feel energetically tied to you. You may have had a summer fling or maybe you met in the summer. Uh, you are my muse. They see you as compatible. Your laugh lights up my heart. They love your laugh. I have conversations in my head with you.
you know, it's kind of giving me, in a way, like Hallmark uh, Channel movies. You know, when they, they kind of, they have their little argument and then they go their separate ways and then all this, you know, um, these realizations happen and then they come back together. And <laughs> I've been watching Hallmark movies, so that's also why I'm picking up on it. And, you know, that season's coming up. So, yeah, it just kind of reminds me of that. Like, this, everything that's happening, I feel, is working in your favor. Even if it doesn't appear that way right now. And again, those of you that know what I'm talking about, those of you that are, you know, constantly choosing to shift your reality, um, shift your experiences, here's your reminder. See this as a good thing. See this as everything working out in your favor. Okay. Oh, yes. Before I roll the astrology dice let's see what is the likelihood of okay will this person confess in the near future what's the likelihood of them confessing will they confess i feel like i need one of those little magic eight balls <laughs> king of wands all right yeah this is taking action we have death, uh, rebirth, transformation, big changes, Scorpio energy coming through. We are in Scorpio season as I'm watching, or as I'm watching, <laughs> as I'm reading this. All right. <laughs> so yes, uh, big changes. This person really steps into their power. You know, takes that action. Takes initiative. Makes a move. All right, so we have 11th House Aquarius. We have Virgo. We have Scorpio. And we have 8th House Scorpio. Strong Scorpio energy. Strong water energy overall coming through this reading. A lot of emotions, a lot of feelings. I'm seeing the word luck. We have L, I, M, F, U, could have Louis or maybe Lewis. We have K, could have Mike, Michael, maybe even uh, Mika. We have T, Katie. I'm seeing like. We also have Luke. We have Y. S. O. A. O. C. We have Lucy. X in Texas we have D C D so um hearing like CDs like burning CDs making a mixtape so they could be from that era <laughs> um or you know making a playlist of songs that remind them of you maybe there's a specific um a specific song that the two of you share i'm also <laughs> seeing the word yo so maybe they plan on you know initiating the conversation with yo what's good or whatever the people say nowadays what else do we have here i'm seeing mac Mackie, 
I'm also seeing Mac as in like makeup, uh, Sephora, Mac, all those, you know, the high end or good quality makeup. Kate. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there. Okay, so that is what I have for your group two. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you guys all the best, and I'm sending you so much love. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group three, you chose the Intuitive Night Goddess with this druzy, sparkly, pretty, gorgeous moon here. Welcome. All right, let's place it there. Okay, what would your person like to confess to you if they could? All right, so we have the Six of Wands. Ace of Cups. All right, so they, off the bat here, uh, they recognize that they have feelings for you. <laughs> Warrior of Cups. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, absolutely. They have romantic feelings. Death, we have Scorpio. Yeah, there have been changes here. All right, so yeah. Uh, there has absolutely been a shift. They may have just realized that um, they have these romantic feelings. I feel like your person is feeling a lot of emotions. They're feeling overcome and overwhelmed with emotions. And now it may be, you know, all of a sudden it just happened. Maybe they woke up one day and realized that they have these feelings. Or it could be um, they may there may have been some sort of ending in this connection to spark the realization that they have these feelings for you. I do want to clarify death. Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like before they were their judgment was clouded. They couldn't see clearly. They couldn't um, see their feelings clearly. And now it's it's very clear to them how they feel about you. That they want to pursue you. They have a romantic interest in you for sure. Okay, what else? We're the Empress. Move Taurus and Libra. Spirit of Swords, we have the King of Swords. Eight of Swords. All right. But they're scared to tell you. This person sees you as a god or a goddess. Three of Cups. So the two of you may be friends. So it could have started out like... You were getting along like great friends, getting to know each other. And again, they may have woken up one day and realized that they have, they've developed a crush. You know how that happens all of a sudden, like you're just, you, especially, <laughs> um, you've known someone for a while and there haven't been feelings before. And then one day you wake up and the, you see them and you're like, oh my goodness, I've never realized how hot that person was or, you know. All of a, and then all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're giggly, you're shy. Um, <laughs> now I'm going back to like high school days here. <laughs> I, I'm getting like that kind of energy. Like all of a sudden they just like realize like, oh my goodness. I, how did I never notice it before? And now they're, <laughs> they're nervous around you. They're scared. <laughs> 
you may have had like wonderful conversations before a lot you know talked until the sun came up before and now all of a sudden uh they may be holding back a little bit because they're they're nervous around you why is the eight of swords here i want to clarify further though <laughs> man i'm feeling giggly today ace of swords yeah <laughs> Um, suddenly these fears, and <laughs> they've had, yeah, a lot of new energy happening here. Just lots coming up for this person. It's, it's so cute, this energy. It's, you know, that giggly, like that new, that new phase where everything's cute. Not that everything can be cute when you're, you get to know someone, but it's just, it just reminds me of that sweet little energy. Maybe some of you are younger too. Not that older people can't experience, you know, the butterflies and the 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 joy, the excitement. I know you hear a lot of, or I don't know about you guys, like hearing that, oh, butterflies is your nervous system responding to anxiety and, you know, um, you know, putting a negative twist on it it's like oh it's not actually a good thing I still see personally I still see butterflies as a cute thing like that that nervousness of you know everything's new and exciting I see it as you know cute I I don't see it as like oh it's a it's a trauma response And I see that as, you know, your person's nervous around you. Okay, what else? What else would they like to confess? We have temperance. Oh, it's a beautiful image. Okay, so Sagittarius. We have the Warrior of Pentacles. They're planning on making a move, I feel. Um, making a plan. You know, just remaining still, but <laughs> energetically, they just want to rush towards you and, you know, make things happen. I feel like this person, I'm getting like... They just want to grab you and kiss you. But again, especially if you're like uh, friends, they may feel like that may not be appropriate. <laughs> just, you know, grabbing you and kissing you. Like they, especially like you may have very strict boundaries with this person. Maybe they don't want to cross any boundaries. Uh, but yeah, it's not to say that they don't think about it. They, you know, kissing, not crossing your boundaries. And then we have the Nymph of Swords. Page of Swords. Yeah, very curious what it would be like to be with you in every aspect of a romantic relationship. Now they really want to make a move towards you. I feel like this person's getting antsy. Okay, so we have the Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change minds. So, yeah, big changes and realizations are happening. The snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. Okay, they may be very sneaky. I'm getting like seven of uh, swords energy here. Maybe they're very sneaky with their feelings. There may be somebody else involved here. We do have the other woman. Uh, it could be another man. 
again, maybe that's why they feel it may not be the best thing to just come and grab you and kiss you. Because <laughs> maybe you're, or they could be in a, another relationship. What else? Gold digger. They want your money being used. This person may be listening to people, you know, kind of trash talk, romantic relationships. Because we had such beautiful energy and then all of a sudden we have like this kind of thorn in your side, like someone coming in and just making them feel bad for liking you. Um, or it could be their own their own mind coming in and um, convincing themselves that, oh, you know, group three doesn't like you. Oh, why would group three like you? They probably just want you for their money if they're interested. You know how your, your mind can play tricks. Somebody could be in a relationship with uh, a gold digger like someone who's just um maybe they see that you're in a relationship with somebody someone that's using you or they suspect now i'm hearing um Sean, Sean Mendez is uh, treat you better in my head. So maybe they feel like they can treat you better than some snake or gold digger, someone who's using you for something. Commitment. <laughs> They're using you for something. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so we have commitment. Things are getting serious. Oh, on, on the bottom here, communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. So they do think about commitment. They do think about offering you commitments. Um, <clears throat> again, those of you that are maybe dating or, you know, uh, maybe you're seeing somebody. Maybe there's a friends with benefits or a situationship type thing that you're in. And there's this other person kind of watching from the sidelines like this person. Maybe you have somebody else um, and you're also interested in this person. They may be seeing the person that you're with as, you know, for example, a situationship or friends with benefits. Maybe in their minds, they don't see it going anywhere. Maybe they, they believe that the person that you're, um, you know, just passing the time by with or whatever isn't going to offer you commitment they're just using you for their own personal gain to get their needs met and maybe they think that they can offer you something better like commitment they will treat you better than what this energy here has to offer you All right, so I'm going to quickly pause, shuffle out your message cards, and I will be right back. All right, I'm also getting, as I was shuffling the message cards, um, that this person may have been the type that maybe they were only wanting, like, friends with benefits or situationship in the past. This could have been the dynamic between you and this person, but now things have changed uh, with the death energy. They've come to a realization that maybe they do want more. There's and we also have Phoenix here. Changes. Um, new phase. Renewed. Transformation. Changed mind. They may have changed their mind and decided, you know what? I do want something serious. All right. So we have, you have my heart. No contact. Maybe it's been a while since you've spoken to this person. Please. And then we have, please don't take the silence personally. They have a lot of pride. 
I feel like a kid again. Yeah, that's what I was getting with the butterflies. Like that, that cute, that cute energy, like anticipating the first kiss and, you know, going on a first date, trying to figure out what you, what you're going to wear. It's, it's cute energy. <laughs> you mean everything to me. I'm not good for you. Okay, so maybe in the past they felt like they weren't good enough for you. We have angel number 333. You inspire me to be a better person. It's beautiful. I'm always checking you out. I just want to be open and honest with you. Um, so they may have struggled with addictions and maybe you have inspired this person uh, to, you know, choose better for themselves. You know, you know, choose a healthier life, a lifestyle. Maybe they're want to be open and honest with their their struggles uh i know you're the one we have life partner i don't just want i don't want to be just friends yeah so there's that going back to that friends energy i was picking up on for some of you if this is like this person was your friend they want to take it to the next level there's so much i want to say to you Oh, holy shit. There we go. We got the butterflies. That may also be like someone's, um, you know, sign or synchronicity. Maybe that's like confirmation. This connection has forced me to grow. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. So let's see what the likelihood of them um, confessing in the near future is. Okay, so will they confess in the near future? Will they confess to group three in the near future? Seven of Pentacles. This is telling me yes. Uh, it may take some time, but yes, this is a yes. Again, this is patience. Yeah, and on the bottom here, justice. Yes. So, don't focus on the when. Because <laughs> that will just drive you crazy. If you're the type of person where, you know, it drives you crazy to wait, I recommend, you know, filling your time with doing other things. Doing the things you um, enjoy that take your mind off of the timing of everything unfolding. All right, so for signs, we have Aquarius, we have 4th House Cancer, we have 5th House Leo, and we have Virgo. I'm seeing the name Carl. We can also have Karen. We have K-A... Maybe Carrie, oh, have one of my hairs. Maybe someone has dark brown hair. <clears throat> we have E, G, M. Maybe someone's name is Graham. Seeing end game, I'm getting end game with I. With Linda, maybe Lindsay, with A. Keegan, with A. O. Morgan, with E. Mina. We have R, D, I'm also saying dragon, someone likes dragon, maybe someone has a dragon tattoo, we have DC, I'm also getting like comics, like DC comics, and we have N, 
seen dance. Someone's into dance or ballet. Cameron. Camille. Could have Camilla or Camila. Roman. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there. Okay, so that is what I have for you, group three. Thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you guys all the best, and I'm sending you so much love. I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.